Hello guys, good morning, good morning. It's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a day trading recap. Today was a really good day because uh, three on three, three good trades, but I missed big move, big moves again. Uh, like one of them was CCL, as you can see there. So I tried, I tried shorting it three, uh, two times, short, short, and it wasn't breaking this one. This is the level that I really wanted to break failed there i should have entered again here but i didn't want to do it and look what happened imagine if i entered there i could have like ooh, or maybe here so this is the this is actually the move that i wanted so one thing i realized like this week was big moves only happen right right at 10 30 or midday and yeah it was just a weird moment that's why I've, I've been scalping just the open that's what i've been doing uh ever since and look at uber as well that's my second trade so it was a really really quick scalp uh, i wanted it to break 26 which it did but i stopped out at kind of break even but it was a really tight risk my risk was somewhere here like it was a very tight risk so this is a good a good trade considered a good trade and next was oxy um yeah uh, i was hoping it for for it to break 1150 area but it doesn't it's not happening it looks like it's uh supporting in that area so yeah it's good this is a good trade as well i entered after getting rejected this one was good i actually was i was actually watching for a squeeze i i wanted to get in here but yeah, it was just too late and then when i saw that it dropped back to vwap i should have entered right away here because uh this is probably just a squeeze and there you go so you can just quickly scalp the market scalp short short like if let's say spy is the spy is also like hovering around below vwap then you can probably do the same thing with spy so yeah uh let's watch my trades yeah, so the reason why I want to get in CCL is at 82 area because of I feel like it's if it doesn't go up, if it doesn't open above 16, it's probably going to dump and break 82, which that was the plan I did uh, right at the open. So as you can see, market opens. There you go. Almost 1 million. So this is where I shorted it, but I didn't get filled, right? As you can see, I shorted it at 81. I, I was just too late. Now it's on 68 or something. Right? So I shorted it there. I got filled very, very late. And good thing my stop is somewhere here. It's like a 40 cent, uh, 40 cent risk. Uh, and then I was like, oh my God, it's going to go back to 16. And if it goes back to 16, I'll probably consider uh, getting out. But good thing it did not. I'm so happy about it. There you go. I'm looking at 16 or 1590, 16 area. So I took some off just a little in there, just 10%. Ease myself a little bit more. I've been taking small partials there. And since it didn't break, I took half in there and get out of break even. So this was, uh, it's not breaking. So I took half in there. So <clears throat> because normally if it's going to break, then it should at least drop at 50, right? So, and then FOMO is coming in because of this wick. So I was like, maybe I enter again. Then I patiently waited. Patiently waited. And maybe I'll say, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll be short at 1580 if it goes back to 1580 area. I was closely watching 1580. There you go, 70, which I think I came in late. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. 1580. Yeah, there you go. I short. I got. I got filled right away. So shorting at asks, and my my risk was probably just at 88 area or 82. That's probably where I wanna get out. There you go. Took a little bit in there again. I was hoping for 50 break. Like, there you go. I see short orders here. Let's see. There you go. That's the one I wanted, but I was too late. I should have taken more. I should have taken more there, but I was just greedy. I should have taken more in here. Take profit. I don't know if I did. Take profit. I think I did not. 
yeah i did not so i missed like few cents in there and i should have taken more i don't know why because i was hoping for 15 30 break and yeah it was just it was just a mess this could have been a good profit as well if i've taken half in here in this area so i got out of break even yeah and that's it um what else uber i think i traded uber or ccl which, which one did i do oh oxy i think oxy so this i'm i'm done with this so i think what i did was i traded oxy after this because i said i don't want to get chopped so it looks like i'm so oxy did a really good uh, long squeeze short squeeze so this is where i wanted to get in after uh failing this one it's either if you miss this move from here then don't don't chase it if you want to enter wait if it holds vwap and maybe enter somewhere at 12 10 and then continue to break higher so there you go it, i have like a, a line here but i think i stock was not an ssr so i was looking for big orders not present so there's some good ones in here oh there there you go there's one in there there i think that's the that's the uh, reason why i got in there there you go so there was a big order in there a volume came in as well yeah let's watch so it's risking just at this 95 area so it's a very very tight risk so like 20 cents so there you go I'm on 8 cents now, 10 cents. I took 10% in there, hoping for 55 break. Come on, 50, give it to me. See orders in there as well. So, come on. So, actually, <laughs> so I actually took half in here because uh, just crazy there's not much momentum like you can you can get like imagine if you're entered short here you can get squeezed normally you should put a stop somewhere at 1205 everyone got stopped at 1205 here so that's why that's what the that's why the price was was the, that's why even if you look at it there's no volume so i think this was just a short squeeze there you go volume is there so everyone's trying to push this up so my stop was 11.87 let's fast forward this a bit and i think I, I got stopped out so yeah it was a really quick uh trade and i think i got stopped let me fast forward this yeah so that was like a not a very good uh win but i'll take it small winner so here let's watch uh uber no uber yeah there watch uber this is where i wanted to uh, get along at vwap hoping for a 26 break but it's not happening I, it was an SSR, so I said probably it probably will squeeze somewhere here at VWAP. Stops will get triggered here. There you go. Come on. So it's just being careful not to give back. I'm looking for orders. I don't see anything. Yeah, it's selling here. It's still selling here, as you can see. Lots of people are shorting. I didn't want to short it there because it's making oh, yeah there you go i entered fast forward when it wasn't when it was failing here i took a tight risk at 25.50 the 20 cent 20 cents risk there you go let's watch Oh, I was actually hoping for a twenty-six dollar break, so I, this I I had like a one-to-one -one, uh, profit there, but wasn't enough. 
But at least it's at least a one to one uh, profit. So it was a really tight risk. And I got stopped. Yeah, uh, it was a really tough, really tough day. Like, like if you look at CCL, I was right. So that's about it.